After giving birth to my daughter, I was super nervous about postpartum depression. I've had my bouts with depression in the past, so I was certain my old nemesis would make an unannounced visit. It also didn't help that my whole birth plan went out the window. I was left feeling traumatized and in excruciating pain. I had just finished watching Dope Sick on Hulu, so when the midwives and nurses offered Oxycontin to me, it was an immediate no. <laughs> I opted for Motrin to manage the pain, but it wasn't enough. It also didn't help that we didn't have a physical village to help with the baby. I wasn't myself. I wasn't getting much rest. Things were getting rocky. I was dealing with a lot of different emotions. And although I had friends and family members coaching me virtually, I didn't know anyone who experienced exactly what I was experiencing, so I felt alone. Oddly enough, I felt more creative than ever, so I immediately planned to start painting once I recovered. I promised myself that I would do a 30-day painting challenge and would post my paintings on Instagram whether it was finished or not. During the challenge not only helped keep baby blues at bay, but it also helped me find a sense of normalcy. My artist friends, who were also moms, reached out to me privately commending me for actively painting and posting my work. They didn't know how I was doing all of this with a newborn, but I was making time to create out of necessity. On this new path of motherhood, I learned early on that relaxation wasn't a luxury, it was a necessity. I had to think of things that helps me relax, such as painting, drinking chai tea, baking, aromatherapy, praying, and spending time in nature. Making time for art, even just for 10 to 15 minutes, was my salvation. Praying was equally my saving grace. Till this day, they both keep me grounded and centered. Of course, I have days that are stressful and challenging, but knowing that I can always turn to art and lean on God to transmute these feelings into a piece of art is truly therapeutic. My art process changed and I started painting differently. It was like I was accessing parts of my brain that were untapped. Instead of packing up my painting tools for a year or two, I was unpacking some of the most wildest ideas that I have yet been able to translate on canvas.
Hello, so I just wanted to talk about this piece really quickly. So this piece that I'm working on right now, it's actually inspired by this smaller piece that I have here. This is the first painting that I did in 2022 after giving birth and it's called Miracles, Signs and Wonders. I really love the composition on this piece and I don't wanna sell it. <laughs> so I wanted to recreate it on a bigger canvas so that I could put it up for sale. But what I'm trying to do is to grab the areas that I really love. I really like this section here. So I'm really trying to recreate this portion of it and go in and add some of the textures that I have here. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the falling dots in it yet. I don't know yet. And I might do a little variation with some of the colors here. So what I did, I made my own color recipes. And so I have different uh, shades of blues to kind of just see which colors I'm gravitating towards. And then I also have like red and magenta and a bit of violet as well. So I'm just going through it just to see what colors I want to incorporate into this piece. And I also have some neutrals that I have that I might pull from these colors and apply it to this painting. Instead of experiencing postpartum depression, I experienced postpartum creativity. I now believe that postpartum is one of the most expansive and creative time in my life. Becoming a mother has made me a better artist, I'm more courageous, I have an uncanny way of problem solving, and finding unusual ways to complete tasks. As a first time mom, my creative spirit is my lifeline. Okay, so I'm almost done. I just wanted to pop in here real quick to say, so I don't know if this is the case for all artists, but there's this one brush, one brush that I use when I pick it up, I know it's time to bring the whole painting together. It's my favorite brush, this tiny, tiny bit of brush. It's kind of beat up, but I love it. For some reason, whenever I pick it up, it tells my brain it's time to bring it all together. Painting is also helping me navigate motherhood. Connecting with the creator through art is helping me in becoming the mother that God designed me to be. I once heard that motherhood cannot be an exception to God's command to shine in contrast to culture. I know postpartum depression is real, but motherhood is teaching me to know when to hand it over to God. If you're a soon-to-be mom or new mom, I hope my story inspired you to make time for creativity, even if it's for 15 minutes every day. I think it's also a great way to bond with your baby, because the more time you spend doing something that brings you joy, the more you'll be able to give emotionally to your child. Thank you for watching. Take care and be well.